some more detail on change of state. Remember that intermolecular forces are different from the intramolecular forces, the, the chemical bonds. So in physics, we're not discussing the changes within a molecule. That would be a chemical change. We're talking about the physical forces in between the molecules. Those are the forces which govern change of state. In a physical change, no new substances are made because there have been no changes to chemical bonds. So remember that mass is conserved during a change of state. Density can change, but mass stays the same. And this is because change in state are examples of physical changes. There have been no new molecules added and none removed from the substance, so there's no change in mass. The spacing between the molecules may have changed. A physical change is one where the material recovers its original properties once the change is reversed. And during a chemical change, it's not possible to recover those same physical properties after the reversal of the reaction. And this is because in a physical change, the strength of the intermolecular forces may have changed. So the arrangement of the particles may have changed, whereas in a chemical change, the actual atoms within the molecules would have rearranged. So once again, it's really useful to use the particle pictures to help us explain the difference between a physical change and a chemical change. And here we have the same nine particles as a solid, as a liquid and as a gas. And hopefully you can see that it would be the same mass because all that's happened is that the particles have rearranged. And also that it would be easily reversible because you would get back the physical properties of the liquid and of the solid once you reverse the change to a gas.